hey guys how are you doing happy monday hope you guys are doing great so i thought i should just come on here um and share that one for for starters we're moving this week um to our new home and um i've had a lot of movings this entire season gosh but um i mean i'm still grateful to god for what he's doing in my life that said though i just kind of wanted to give you a background on hi bianca <laughs> bye bye I want to give you where my head space is at for this entire move. Um, so first of all, one sad thing that's happening is that I can't get my self-care done because it's scheduled for this Saturday, but we're moving on Friday. So Saturday, new home, new house, as in, where am I going to live? Where? I have to be cleaning the house. So anyway, I won't be able to move and do my self-care. So that's out. So my nails I'd, i actually had a few that had come off and so it was time for me to put like my usual fake suitcase of nails but i was just like but for what i'm going to move we're packing and stuff so i just completely let them fall off and had peace uh, because this is the week that i would now be putting the other fake ones that look like the ones that they had done in the salon but now for what anyway my hair is an absolute mess so let's not even go there <laughs> Um, so I'll probably do them in the week, um, um, during the week of um, when we've settled in, kind of settled in, but that's it. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that now we're going to do a lot of washing. So a lot of washing in the washing clothes, um, scrubbing shoes. We're also going to do a lot of purging. So what are the things that we have as we are packing and everything that needs to be blessing somebody else because we're not using it anymore that can be repaired for us to continue use that should be stored for ex you know maybe we'll use it later and what are the things that we're going to use that we can use right now so that's what we're going to purge and those are the categories that we usually purge in then thirdly i've um, gotten a moving company freeman moving services um they're the ones i will leave their um their their contacts in the description box so freeman moving house uh freeman movers helped us move the cradle and so for me I, I had such a great experience with them and i wanted to repeat that experience for myself so one of the things though i must say that's different from what they usually do they usually come into your home and pack your stuff because that's exactly what they did with the cradle they packed the stuff into boxes labeled it put it into the car and then told us well we're done and then we moved but i'm not able to do that this time because our home is unfinished so we have a lot of uh like the entire master wing is unfinished so we're going to be living in the visitor's room for a while the guest the guest room for a while as we finished up the must as we do the master wing uh because right now it ha it's storing the cradle stuff in it the things people don't tell you about business guys yeah anyway so all of the cradle stuff moved into our master wing of our home and now here we are having planned to move and now we have to move with our stuff inside um so but anyway so we'll be living in the guest room and um so because of that we're going to we i mean we don't have wardrobes in we don't have a lot of stuff inside it's really unfinished and in fact if you have any tips for me as i move into this home that is unfinished please leave it in the comment section i would like to know what tips tricks and hacks that you guys have um for that i remember the last time we moved like this it was when we were moving with my mom into our unfinished home and i'm just trying to apply what she what we went through then for now so and i was what over 12 years ago so please <laughs> so anyway um so because of that we're going to be living out of boxes for a while so what i did was i asked the guys of freeman movers to deliver the boxes a week before so they've actually just delivered the boxes and uh it's important for me because i couldn't allow anyone to touch the stuff because i do want to reach the new house which didn't have we, where we're not going to unpack stuff and i don't know where stuff is so i needed to be the one in charge of this process but usually they can pack for you so we're going to i'm going to have five days of packing and so i've divided in my mind what the house divisions are and how we're going to pack up so we'll have one main place to park every day although we'll continue parking anyway through the week so we'll work um in the morning so i'll do my office work in the morning the kids will do their school work in the morning and then in the afternoon after we've had lunch is when we do the parking so i'm going to divide up the house the five areas will be the master bedroom the kids room then we'll have the, the 
the, the kitchen as a third room. The fourth is a sitting room and the dining. And then the fifth is the bathroom, toilets and outside. So those are the five days of the packing. So whoo, that's what it's going to be like. So I also have to pack quite strategically. I need to get the stuff that we use all the time you know very frequently put them nearby and then those that we'll use when we have finally reinstated and you know finished the building of the house that we'll then put in so i have to divide those that we use really frequently and those that we need to keep until such a time as when we're ready what i mean is for example if i'm packing shoes right i have many pairs of shoes for example so i'm going to divide them into those that i wear frequently uh, now that i'm home and probably there'll be a release lockdown i'm going to pick like one main heel one main flat shoe uh my slippers uh my comfy slippers put them in one space and then all the rest of my shoes in another box now those ones i will bring out when we finally put out the wardrobes and yeah but now i'm going to just have a pair one pair of black heels please <laughs> in terms of the frequent ones even with my clothes i'm going to get some like some really common clothes that i can put away so that the rest i can keep in boxes and keep them there for a while until we are ready and have you know put in all the wardrobes of even the plates same thing uh we're going to pick up what we frequently use or what we see we shall use in the near future and then the rest we're going to store keep so that we're not opening and closing boxes so essentially my packing is going to be divided into those that we use frequently and those that will open up when the time comes and we've finished uh you know kind of building up the entire house so things like decor even the decor there are those things which will remind us about you know that we are home i'll put them in one box but the rest i'm so keeping until we're you know we're really done with uh with the house so which reminds me now that we're going to move into a new home um i have to do or oh, oops Okay, so I have to redo my entire, so I have to redo my entire interior decor. If um, you're an interior designer that would like to uh, partner with me, and I'm thinking though that I want to, you know, kind of work with different interior designers, not one interior designer for the entire house. So different interior designers for different rooms in the space. I'll just give one general, feeling of how I want the place to look like. And then you guys um, can be a part of the entire process. Let me know if that's something that you would like. rise and shine <laughs> for the day has come guys today is the d day i think you can see all the boxes packed now i'm just left with like so you know like this is a final day so i'm going through from the first room or the the backest end of the rooms which is the master bathroom and I'm now picking up everything at once and putting them into any of the open boxes, depending on which room they're in. And um, like this is now the final pack. And then I will close up the boxes as I label them. So that's what's happening now. Yep. And then after I've closed up the boxes, we'll clean up for the next person. But it's not such a like a wonderful, beautiful clean up. It's just like a basic clean, just not something small, nothing major. Um, so we'll just do a clean up as we leave each room. Yeah. So I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. 
and yet I'm so happy. Um, I'm excited. I think, you know, like if you've ever moved house in the comment section, tell me what it was like. I'm so scared of tonight because I think the last time we moved into our own home was when I was moving in with like my mom and my brothers and sisters. It was such an emotional moment for us because we'd lived in so much poverty and like being able to enter our home was such a huge, huge, huge thing for us. Um, even now, like, I'm, like, I'm so scared because I remember what that night was like, like we cried the entire night. So I don't know what this night is going to be like. Hey, come in. Okay, cool. Thank you. So I don't know what tonight is going to be like. I'm really hoping it's a happy one. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. Come on in. My name is... <laughs> Me. Mm? Me. You. Yeah. I've worn my perfume. I'm going to wear my earrings. I've put some lip balm. This is going to be a beautiful day. Are you ready? Yes. Ready, ready, ready? Yes. What are you doing right now? You've just finished setting your goals for the day. Yeah, and we're, and we're going to do some breakfast. Oh, so you're going to have breakfast. And then after that, you're going to... Um, work. Yeah, finish your work for the day. Mm. Okay. Have mm. you finished packing, though? Your bed sheets, your towels, your stuff? Which you slept in today? Mm. Okay, you can pack, finish up. Because we're leaving. See, I've already moved my bed sheets. Yeah. So anyway, he interrupts me. I was coming to see guys. I've worn the lip gloss, lip balm. Actually, this is a silly one. I've worn the lip balm. Yeah, everything. I've worn the lip balm. <sighs> worn some perfume. Put on my deal. I'm gonna wear some earrings. Get me a necklace. I want the one that says bless because i am blessed this is a blessed day we're doing a blessed thing and i'm blessed so i want to wear that so i don't forget so also shebang for the next few i don't know should i wear a bangle <laughs> i'm extra i'm becoming extra i'm done no honestly no just just what i've said i'll do 